What's up? I just finished uh, the coding part on my new course. I'm going to create a Gatsby for Beginners course, and I'm going to use Style Components, Markdown, and of course, Gatsby. So this is the site that I'm going to show you how to build in this premium course. I plan to start recording it the next week, and hopefully it will be finished in a couple of weeks. I also plan to create two versions of this one. I've actually done one in TypeScript and one in regular plain JavaScript. But the first version is going to be JavaScript, and then I'm going to record a one in TypeScript. I thought I could show you the site and talk a little about what I'm going to show you in the course. So this is the site. It's going to be a blog site. And I know, because I've got feedback from you guys, that some of you think that it's quite boring to build a blog. And some of you actually love it because you want uh, a blog for yourself. Uh, and to be honest, maybe it's not the most super exciting project to build, but actually it's quite fun, I can assure you that. And a blog is actually a really good example to show you the fundamental parts with Gatsby, because it will cover everything you need to know to get started with Gatsby. You're going to have different posts, you're going to have pagination like this, uh, and, and uh, you're also going to create pages and post programmatically, which is a big part in Gatsby. And for this case, in the blog, I also have a light and dark mode. So I'm going to show you how to create the context to keep this between pages. Uh, and of course, it's also going to be responsive. So you have a mobile menu and it's changed the color when you have the day and night mode. So this is the site and uh, I actually like the dark mode more. So it's going to have the blog posts on the, on the home page, on the start page. And there's a thumbnail and a header. And I'm also going to show you how to create this, uh, as you see on many sites now, how many minutes it takes to read this one. There's a sweet plugin for Gatsby that we can use for this purpose. And also, as I said, there's going to be pagination. So for this one, I have three pages right now. So it will, of course, change dynamically when you add posts. And also we're going to create this head image and this is a background image that, I'm, that I've optimized. So it's a little bit tricky when it's a background image because Gatsby has this awesome image component that will optimize the images for you. And I actually have a video that I created a few weeks back on my channel here. So check that out if you want to know how to create optimize background images with that component also. And as you can see, as I go down in screen resolution, it will change and it will not show the hero image. Uh, and also, of course, different pages. And what else? Yeah, I made this, as I think, quite a clean, sweet design. I like clean stuff uh, and not too much going on design-wise. So this design is going to be provided and I'm going to show you how to create it from scratch. We're going to create the CSS and everything in the course. So we start from nothing and we'll have this product when we've finished with the course. And also, of course, you can click on the posts and it will look uh, yeah, the same as the pages here. So I think this will show you a lot of concepts in Gatsby that you need to know. And after that, when you know that stuff, you will be able to advance even more with Gatsby and create the really advanced sites. And Gatsby is growing all the time. And they also develop stuff all the time for it and make it better and better. So you can actually use Gatsby for real apps today. I think I read something about it a while ago. And they also have the Gatsby Cloud now where you can host your sites. I haven't been able to try that out yet, but I'm going to do that soon. So probably I will create a lot of bonus content for this course also later on. So this is it. This is the site that I'm going to build in this course. So hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you want free coding tutorials, mostly in React, but other front-end stuff too. And also some back-end stuff occasionally.